Many people are stressed before their most important races because they are afraid of the bad outcome. Sure, we all know that, right? But the real problem is usually hidden under the superficial layer of, of, of obviousness. So the real question we should be asking ourselves is why am I afraid of the bad outcome? Why are you afraid of the bad outcome? Is it because you know how much you've sacrificed to get here and you don't want all of this effort to go to waste now? Is it because you know that this is maybe your last chance to perform? Is it because you don't want to fall short of expectations of the person that is close to you or maybe people that are close to you? Is it maybe because you've barely made the team and now you feel like you have to prove to everyone that you deserve this spot? Is it because you feel that you are good but you can never prove this on any big event and you're afraid that this will happen again? Or is it simply because you are your own hardest critic and you're putting all of this pressure on yourself? If at least one of those apply to you, and I'm pretty sure it does, then you have to hear what I have to say. You are strong, resilient and hard-working person. You got where you are because of those important traits. Appreciate them and appreciate yourself. Look back at the time during that took you to get where you are right now. Look at those moments, at all the training sessions, training camps, all the traveling. Think of all the wonderful moments that you've had, people you've met, places you've seen, memories that you will cherish for the rest of your life possibly. Your performance cannot change them in any way. It's just a dot over the eye. It's just a cherry on top of the cake, but the whole cake is already made and it's gorgeous. You are young and you have so much in front of you. The last chances do happen in life and it seems like it's absolutely something you cannot miss, but you'll be surprised how many of those last chances you will actually have. You can't get all of them, you will want to, you will try, but it's not possible. You've already accomplished so much and gotten so far. And I promise you, there will be more. That's just how life is. And in some time, you will look back at this moment in time and you will realize that it wasn't as critical as you may think now. It's just another step to greatness. You are a beautiful person. You care for what others think and you don't want to let them down. You're compassionate and vulnerable. You open yourself to give and share, but at the same time you make it easier for others to hurt you. It's a double-edged sword, but it's beautiful. You are beautiful. Use your compassion to understand that people don't want you to fail because they don't want you to suffer. They don't want you to be sad. They don't want you to be disappointed. They want to share your happiness with you. They want to share your excitement with you, your successes with you. It's not about disappointment. It's about love. You are the chosen one. Just like in the movies, you are the hero now, whether you like it or not. The decision has been made and it's been made for you. All you did is your best and it was enough. And yes, it's possible that someone maybe had a bad day and now you're here and someone is there. But that's just part of life and rules. All you can do right now is do your best and we will never know what would happen if. So don't worry about it. You are caring and ambitious. Sometimes our, our own desire to perform becomes too strong and feels like a hurdle you need to jump through. 
because you care so much, you may feel that this most important start is the one that defines you. But it's not. What defines you are your actions every single day. The training session that you attend in harsh conditions when half of the people just choose to stay at home. The effort you put into post-race analysis, spending time after the training when others are watching Netflix. Helping your teammates when they are in need, sharing your experiences. Getting better every single day, even if just by a tiny, tiny bit. So cut yourself some slack. Give yourself permission to fail. But never give up. Who knows? Maybe never giving up is your superpower. You are strict and perfect. You put a lot of pressure on yourself. You demand. You push hard. You expect only perfection. But the world is never perfect. There is no perfection without utter failure, just like there is no good without bad. It's awesome to strive for perfection, but it's equally important to accept failure as part of the process. Be thankful for those failures that happen to you, because remember, as long as you learn from that, it's not a failure. It's just a lesson. You're great. You're beautiful as a person. You're not perfect. None of us are. But you can do this. You can do this because you already did it many times before. Remember those races. Go back to those feelings. Remember how you felt during that day. Recall the, 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 the emotions, the feeling, the circumstances, the mindset. Think about how you felt that day while putting on your running shoes. How you felt when you were grabbing the map right at the start and how it felt navigating right afterwards. You can do this. I don't know if you will, but you can. So go and do your best. And whatever happens, be grateful for where you are and what you have. Because you've earned it and no result can take it away from you. Go with love. Thank you.